And that's what we just did with the AGM. We went back to the drawing board and said, in the last financial year and in the, all the years that have been, how have we impacted the, the, the market? We have seen that we were busy, we built about 300 kilometers of fiber just for project of in, uh, national interest. The CSIR through DST, uh, Department of Science and Technology, will be passing traffic there where they are doing project, as we're talking, they're doing research project on it. So we are impacting the market, at least on the project of national interest. I Investment in wax as well is another point that we're saying this is the area of us impacting the market because we have earmarked about 70% of our capacity into project of national interest. So that is just one part of our mandate. Our entrance to the market was about bringing the affordability. Yes, we have not significantly uh, seen that, but where we are passing, we are passing it on to our immediate customized carrier of carriers, and we need to stimulate that to pass the, the prices down. So how have we fed with that? I mean, we've increased our footprint to more over 12,000 kilometers of fiber. We've got about 110 uh, open access points where people which can be terminated, that can be... Um, that can be originating the service from. So yes, we believe that in this two years, and bear in mind, it is since two years since the launch, we have done a great movement. What timeline do you see then as being the forefront of having you as the leader, so to speak, in, in South Africa and hopefully Africa? You know, if you look at the landscape of South Africa, and I mean, really the people that have got a uh, long broadband connectivity before broadband in Franco is just talco. But the gap is still wide as, as we're talking. So we're looking at it and saying we are partners in this industry. We look at where Talcom is and we will not go there because it's about service delivery. Broadband in Franco is about service delivery. So are we racing uh, to, to, to be Talcom or are we raising for connectivity? And our target as, as 2020 vision of the country to have that 100% broadband connectivity. So in that way, we will not be duplicating effort, we will not be duplicating fiber, but we will be addressing fiber in areas where there's clearly no access. And it's about, about access, it's about speed. So if we can even improve the speed in Gauteng, forward, we will have achieved as part of our mandate. So it's about bringing the prices down, it's about that. It's not about leading this market. We are about complementing and making sure that the country as a whole get the benefit of the technology. If, if we talk about getting the entire expansion plan by 2020, that will require ex, you know, aggressive uh, investment. How then do you see that coming to the fore and how do you plan on then aggressively interacting with the market and ensuring that there are risks involved? So how does that impact the investment that you make? You know, this market is about collaboration. Uh, and we are taking a position that says we will not go there by ourselves. We have been engaging with the market, we've engaged with different players, uh, operators in the market that have started building or that require services to save it. For us to reach the benefit that we want, for us to reach access that we require, we need private sector uh, investment, we need private sector collaboration. We, as a, a, a government uh, state owned entity, we say we will collaborate with our sister companies that have already have a major footprint. The likes of ESCOM, uh, if you look at just, we are just looking at transmission at the moment. There's a generation part of ESCOM uh, business that we have not started engaging on. So we're saying, if we do this through collaboration, and our strategy is about collaboration. We have started engaging, I mean, with all the provinces. We have made inroads in all provinces. We're known in all provinces. We're making uh, the provincial government to understand that in the ICT strategy, this is the partner to go. So alone, we know that we will not be able to achieve 2020 because it's just uh, eight years down the line. But we believe through collaboration with both private sector, government, national, and provincial government, we will be able to achieve that. We've got good relationship and good uh, engagement discussion with both the Limpopo government, with Gauteng, so almost all. And we have already identified the gap. We have actually, we do have maps now of what are the gaps in all the regions. And we know that we have a strategy of going to provincials and provincial government is engaging with us. So we see the future looking bright and we see that infrastructure going very fast. Is it going to be achieved in eight years? Through collaboration with private government, we believe it will be achieved in 2020.